What is up, my dolphins? And I kind of wanted to say that I didn't really get a whole lot on my list of my top 10 games ever. Uh, Ryan's 10, go down to my channel timeline. My first game is Dead Rising 2, just go from there. But anyway, the point is today, um, I'm kind of in my top 20 to 11 games because there are a lot of games that, look, I locked a lot of these games really closely together. I really fought with myself whether I was going to put Far Cry 3 or my number one spot at my number one spot. But eventually, I didn't get Far Cry 3, it was second place. It, all these games are really close together. So it's not like I love them leap and bounds from each other. I love them very nearly to each other. Anyway, I thought 22 11 games that I didn't necessarily get to put on my list. It just missed the list. So, top 22 11 favorite games ever. Ah, number 20. You know, the original StarCraft came out in 1998, and it was about 18 years old at the time, so I would have been about 8 years old at the time, I would have been about 5. I always watched my dad play the game, and I was absolutely horrified by it, but I felt cool to just kind of stick around while he played it. But I still admit that StarCraft 2 was a superior game in pretty much every way ever, because it is a superior game. Wings of Liberty or Heart of the Swarm, if you will. I would probably prefer Heart of the Swarm. But, it don't matter. They're basically the same with different campaigns and some different units. Great games, tons of strategy, excellent lore, and the story mode is so fun to play through. A game that isn't for the 7th generation! whoop de doo Yeah, this is a 6th gen game here. <coughs> now, some of Spyro fans will kill me for this, but... I know this game wasn't that good. But it had funny characters, funny dialogue, pretty much good writing, decent writing, and good gameplay, even though it would get a wee bit repetitive. I'm talking about The Legend of Spyro 1, New Beginning. I got this game just based on the box art and the fact that I really wanted like something with cool dragons in it. And the game kept me occupied for pretty long. I bet you money I'd probably beat this game like 10 times in a row. I mean, just going through all those worlds to save all the different people... I really didn't want to save all those people, too, because their dojos were so annoying. But then the final fight with Cinder was so cool. And then 2 came out, it was good. And then 3 came out, and it was that hard, I couldn't beat it. At the time, I couldn't beat it. Don't judge. I think I've been asked before that 20, 2012 is my favorite year for gaming ever. Because you got such games like Halo 4, Far Cry 3, Borderlands 2, and other games. But, uh, one of my favorites from that year has got to be The Walking Dead. Now, this game got Game of the Year then, but I don't think it was that good, but still pretty good. It was interesting to go through the story and everything, and as soon as I got done with all the chapters, I went right on YouTube to see how other people played it. And their, their walkthroughs were significantly different, and like a lot of people didn't save Ben, and I did save Ben. Ben was the only one that came with me to save Clementine. I didn't have a good walkthrough. Who doesn't love Legos, right? That's why at my 16th spot I'm putting Lego what? Lego, Lego, leg, Lego my ego? I'm putting Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. <clears throat> I realized this when I was watching Rooster Teeth and they counted down the top 5 LEGO games and they put this game at number 1. I suddenly remembered how much I enjoyed playing this game as a 7 year old. Or 8 year old. I'm not, I don't know. The game was so fun. And I bet it could be pretty amusing to even an adult. And honestly, I don't like to look at this as a kid's game. Because I took it pretty seriously at the time. It took me so long to even unlock some of the characters and... You pretty much got 36 missions to do as you please. Plus, all these different things, like the Lego City, you could run around in and just destroy stuff or build stuff. It was so cool. To me, as a kid, that was really cool to find. And it was pretty awesome to play all the levels and unlock all the characters. <sighs> and at number 15, I don't quite have Mortal Kombat X yet, but uh, I certainly plan on getting it soon. Now, why was I initially excited for Mortal Kombat X? Because, uh, 
my first Mortal Kombat game ever was Armageddon. They had an awesome character creator, pretty much every character from Mortal Kombat games ever. And it was just a good game. And then Mortal Kombat 9 came around and just made everything better. It went back to the 2D style. And oh my god, it was so good. The fatalities were more brutal than ever. The freaking... They brought x-rays in. The characters were so fresh and the graphics were so good. Like, I don't know. Like, this was the perfect fighter. And this game is probably the reason that I will never go to playing Street Fighter, especially when there will probably be a Mortal Kombat case sitting to my left. Oh my god, Ryan. How dare you like Halo 4, Halo 3, and Halo Reach better than Halo 2? <laughs> yeah, uh... <clears throat> Don't kill me. Number 14 is Halo 2. Ah, Halo 2. Not a great game. Listen, I just like the newer Halos more than the old ones. Shut up. You, you just did a new game. I started off with Halo 3. Okay, shut up. And then I found a disc for Halo 2. I like them equally at the time. So shut up. Great game, though. It's an amazing game. Number 13 is Portal 2. Breaking away from the Call of Duty attention span. It's great to know that they innovate now. They innovate. Now, I'd said in my uh, part 3, Skyrim of Ryan's 10, that uh, I really bought myself over Skyrim or Oblivion. Number 12 is Oblivion. You know what? Right now, I'd probably prefer to play a little Because I haven't played the game in so long. It's just been... And the graphics. No, the graphics. There's just something old and nostalgic. Just like the look of the game. It looks old. It looks kind of static. But it looks like something I would run into with Welcome Arms. This game really flutters my heart because... I used to play it all of the time on my original, like, G60. And I was like seven. Cause like my dad would come up and we freaking like pop in Oblivion and I just watch him play forever. There was even a time where uh, he just walked outside and he burnt to a crisp. That was a great experience. And my number one slash eleven is Far Cry Four. I've already said that Far Cry Four is not superior to Far Cry Three, but you know what? I enjoyed the world better than it. And, I guess it had better gameplay? Yeah, I'd say that. Yeah, yeah it had better weapons too. But I won't go ahead and just say why it's better or worse than Far Cry 3. I'm just going to go ahead and say why it's a good game. Because it's an excellent game. And if anyone thinks that it's a bad game simply because it doesn't hold up to Far Cry 3, then, shut up. Anyway, guys, that was my uh, rambling about my not having enough games on my list. Yeah. I, I really, I hold all these games really close to my heart, and it feels pretty good to, you know, bond. Feels good to just talk about them. Excellent games. I want Lego Star Wars really bad. Also on Oblivion. MK9. Star Trek, stay what?